in Canada, guess what? It don't matter what you look like, as long as you're warm. And well, that's what we got down so far. Got about, it, it's blowing a wee bit here, but not, not too, too bad. We're, we're over a foot on the ground and it started at 3.30. Uh, no plows have been by. I'm trying to get a little bit done uh, before my plow guy gets here, but uh, hoo -hoo -hoo, boy. Now, it's Canada. This is on the upper scale of what we'd call a snowstorm. So I'll take pictures as I'm going around, but since with my disability, I can't do a whole lot of physical stuff. There's no way in heck I could ever shovel. But that right there is a godsend. It's an electric shovel. And uh, my dad actually found it. A, a fellow was throwing it out. Uh, still haven't figured out why. Works fine. It's moving a foot of snow. I don't know. Anyways, guys, it is getting a little chilly. That's why my uh, I'm shaking a little bit. But uh, this is our first snowstorm of really the winter. But we'll call it 2022. Um, we... We honestly have not had um, a big dropping of snow. Uh, we've had, well, my my plow guy's been here once this winter, or like this this fall winter. He's only been here once. Today he'll probably be here twice because uh, about. 10 o'clock, this is, I don't know, 10, 30, about 11.30 now. At 10 o'clock, I got a text from our road super. And the, it was half down. So, we're sitting, we're sitting about 12 to 13 inches down so far. So, double it. And uh, I need to go get myself some gloves. Thanks, Rebecca Davis. So... I have my toque, I got my hoodie, and I've got Rebecca's. So everybody laughed at how big it was. Guess what? It's Canada. This works. My head's toasty. And yeah, well, I look like a giant pumpkin in the snow, but that's okay too. Anyways, must go. Now, I'm trying to keep it down here. Oops! I think this guy missed the corner. What do you say? And then he tried to back out. Uh, don't think he's gonna get there. Anyways, guys, the road conditions are absolutely horrible. I was gonna take you for a ride and show you a Canadian road. But, um, yeah, no. I'm not gonna kill somebody or kill myself. So, oh, we got a green light. Gotta go. And, uh, Actually, I'll put you down. Um, let's just say I never, this is the first time in three years that I've had my truck in four wheel drive trying to get around. This isn't too bad. This is the main road. This is, this is the main road. So it's, uh, it's salted and all that stuff. Um, now we're going into a parking lot that has not been. Wow, this is fun. Uh, stop signs are only a suggestion whenever you start getting this bad. Oh, look at those poor staff. Oh. Anyways, we gotta try to get to the back of the building because my snow shovel that I showed you the last time said, 
Somebody threw it out and I don't know why. Well, guess what? I used it for two years and well, it's, sorry guys. Just gonna try to keep going or I'm gonna have to throw her into low, four wheel low. Uh oh, <laughs> big ravine. Wrong. Huh, look at that. I ordered a snow thrower, but I didn't order that, so. We are gonna have to just go right here. Oh, we made it. Anyways, I'll show you my road whenever I get back. Gotta go. Alright guys, I'll turn down the heat a little bit here, and uh, let's see if we can get home, oh, <laughs> let's see if we can get home guys without wrecking the truck, and I'm not worried about my driving. This guy's entire shift has been shoveling. And that's his manager's car, and he's graciously enough. Sh oh, yes, 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 I'll put on my seatbelt. All right. So, as you can see, these parking lots have not been done. Just simply for the fact that we were to get 18 inches of snow. So, um, our township guys are gonna be out here shortly. They've already done the main arteries to get folks home, but as you'll see, whenever we go, uh, go to pull down my driveway, or <laughs> my driveway, heck, my drive, oh, come on, come on, come on, get out of my way. There we go. Everybody's getting stuck everywhere, guys, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. People are sliding and they won't slow down. And I, I just, it frustrates the hell out of me. That people are slipping and sliding into ditches and slow the hell. Like, look at this guy. Backing up. Yes, he slid right into the ditch. Slow down. Damn, you'd almost think that we were in a NASCAR race or something. Like, you go slow, you're going to have no issues. You drive like an idiot, like this clown. He's in a school zone. It's only 40 kilometers here. It's, I guess, would be, what, uh, 25 to 30 mile an hour? But... Like, I don't know, I just don't get it. Why, why put your life in, at risk? There's just no need of it. You know, there's flashing lights. This truck's doing double the speed limit. Uh, there's just, you know, everybody's been warned right from the police this morning. Do not go out on the roads. You will die. It is very bad out. Well, like, I play around, yes. But guys, I'm in a four-wheel drive, lifted a little bit. Um, I've got next to brand new tires. Now look at, look at my road. There's about a foot and a foot and a half of snow. Now, I'm going to have to keep it going and I'm not being an idiot. I just have to keep it rolling or I'm going to be in trouble. And I believe that's my snowblow guy right ahead of us. So, again, it's just there's no need 
of folks getting themselves in trouble. And, you know, yes, the roads are horrible. And I don't know how anybody would ever get a small vehicle down these roads. But, you know, there, there's a car just... Uh, that is my still blowing guy. So you get to watch the snow blow guy. Oh. So there you go, Mike. That's a perfect little tractor for you. So I'm very fortunate that this is actually my neighbor from three door, three doors up. We have a we have a great agreement. He charges me next to nothing. Fifteen fifteen dollars every time he comes and blows me out. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go say hello. I got vehicles coming everywhere, so ta-ta!